What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I got two packages in mail, one and two. Got the PPS mounts. This is what you're gonna need if you want to go a big fifth scale motor. So we're gonna open both of these packages. I ordered two mounts, and let's see what's in this package. That's how it comes. So we got one and two. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we got two packages in mail. I ripped this one open. So, if you wanna go big motor, fifth scale motor on your RCs for speed runs, this is the mount you're gonna get, all right? I seen a lot of people have it, so I had to get me some too. So, that's my receipt. Let's put this to the side. And inside this package, you got the mount itself. It comes with the little bit of adapters so let's open up what this look like I'm gonna set this up on my infraction and I'm gonna build that car with this so you guys are gonna see it comes with a nice little packaging looks real nice look at that and my friend here he installed one so I'm not familiar with the mount so I might get a little bit of help from him so he knows how this goes so in this little box you get this piece and two screws. Then we got a third box here. Okay, this is the piece that goes on the top and the two inserts that goes down to the bearings. Okay, so what we got here is uh, adjustment screw right here. So this is how you adjust the mesh of the gear from right here. You loosen up that screw right there and you turn this little guy. Also, you need to loosen up these two right here. But this is the whole mount. So if you wanna get, these, these, these come separate. So you're gonna have to buy a separate, these little guys. So this goes in here, holds the bearing right there. And this piece is the top. That's how it goes. And this other one goes in the front on the plastic end, just like that. So it's very simple and easy to put on. And you could change this insert to a fifth scale or a small motor. But that's everything we have. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna install this on my infraction. Okay, so how you're gonna put this together is you take this little guy, insert this right here, this is where this goes. But you can take this little guy and install it to this little guy, just like so. And that goes in right there. Then you got another piece that goes right here. It comes with the new screws. I don't have tools on me right now, so we're gonna just try to get it in there. And once you have this all set up, this thing is gonna insert, well, these are gonna be facing outward, and it inserts just like so, right in there. Okay, let's try this side, maybe this side. Oh, this side works better there. And then you got the screws. This is not for this, but you're gonna have screws from your stock car that's gonna go up here. And there's your PP mount. It's all done. Up and close and personal. There you go. And uh, there's another piece, that another piece you saw sitting here, that goes between these screws, that's for your e-brake. But you really not, if you don't want gonna use an e-brake, like the infraction has, the new V2 infraction, you don't really need it. But there's your PP mount. So if you guys wanna get one of these, 
You can go online, pps.com, or Google it, you will find the website. What we got here is, uh, we cut the battery tray out. Let me show you what I cut off. So I did not cut off the edge over here because you need this edge so it can hold this, um, the safety little cup here. Then you got the bearing ring for the axle here. That's the, you don't want to cut everything off there. Leave that alone. All right, so this is the motor we're gonna go. We got this stupid RC mount in it, which is really stupid. It's gonna go right there. But not with that mount. We're gonna install the PPS mount. So this will go there. And then we got the XL X2. Baby's gonna go right here. And we're gonna have some cat packs over here. Another thing what we did was we took off the mount. See this uh, mount brace right here? Let's take off this motor. The mount brace over here, we took it out from the opposite side, brought it to this side because we're gonna have the motor coming this way and our motor's gonna be sitting, the can's gonna be sitting over here. So, here's our PPS mount. We are still waiting for the insert here because that fifth scale motor, the big can is not gonna fit on it, but we're gonna leave that in there for now. So we do have three bolts from originally what they came off the other car, I mean from the same one, but the mount, the stock mount, they came off the stock mount. So this is gonna insert just like that in there. It's gonna sit there perfectly. And I am gonna show you the spool. It's gonna be a bad boy. This is a car that's not gonna be for tests and trials. It's gonna be shared up speed. We have Saga Gear M1, eight millimeter, 23 tooth. That's what this baby is. But let's take this off. The shaft is titanium. The shaft is titanium. It's not the stock shaft, the spool shaft. Anyways, what we're gonna do is, this is very important, you use thread lock. So make sure you have some thread lock. Otherwise, things are gonna be coming loose. So all you wanna do is, you don't want too much either. So you can rub one on the other one. You'll leave, need a little tiny bit. And uh, we have the third one here left. Let's put that on the third one. Even though they got a little bit on it, but that's fine. I love this red stuff. This red stuff is a killer. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna simply just hold the mount in place. I'm gonna hold the mount there, the PPS mount. It's gonna have to stay in this spot. Let's turn the light over this way a little bit. Come on, Mr. Light. And, we're gonna lift this guy up. And we're gonna get the three bolts we had in our hand. Pretty much to catch this guy. One. Let's get the second one in. Come on, little guy. Two. And then we have three. Looks good. Tighten these guys. Get them in there evenly first. Give it a smack. Give it a smack. Give it a smack. Let this thing dry up really good overnight. Don't let it run out. Don't go out there doing runs with this. So let's go get a shaft. I'm gonna go get my shaft. So I'm gonna take this guy off. original shafts what we're gonna do now is let's take this apart we gotta take this guy apart
Okay, now is a critical part. I am not gonna lock thread these yet, but you do need to lock thread everything. But we're gonna wait till I get my motor in, and after that, we're gonna slip everything in there together. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that for now. I do need to pick out more pieces before we continue any further. But this guy, what we're gonna do with this guy is we're gonna thread lock these two and throw them in there. It's a lot of vibration, so be careful. If you wanna use blue thread lock, it's up to you. But red is the crazy, it's crazy stuff, but it does what it gotta do. Lock it down. Do the same thing with the other one. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Lock it down. That's it. Then, once you have your spool ready and everything, all you do is you stick this guy. You're gonna have to just try to find that perfect space. And you stick this guy right in, just like that. You can even buy one of these. I forgot to get that, but I will get that. But there's our XLX2 and the big can. It's going to be right there. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you in the next one.